Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you four ways that I like to hang picture frames or something that might be a little bit extra heavy on the wall. So stick around. Okay, so these four methods are things that I actually have done in a lot of past videos that I maybe just didn't really go into depth to explain and also things that I do generally in the household all the time. There are many different options in order to mount picture frames on the walls, but I'm going to just show you the ones that I personally use all the time. Okay, so for this example, this is going to be the wall and this is going to be our picture frame. And so the first method is basically a lot of these things are going to pertain by just putting a nail or screw in the wall. So I'm going to start by putting a little picture nail in the wall. And a picture nail is basically just something that is really small. Okay, just barely in there. Now, if you get a picture frame that has a little hole, which is a recess, sometimes they're called keyholes. Um, that is something that you can actually do with a router and a keyhole bit. And if you have the accessibility to do that, that's actually a really nice way to do it because if you mount that just in the wall enough and your hole is set right, you can get it right against the wall and you don't have it hanging off. And that little ledge catches the head of that nail, holds it on. So that's number one, really simple and effective way to do it. Another way while you're still utilizing the nail is to use a sawtooth hanger. And let me show you what I mean. Okay, we have all seen these little things on the back of picture frames for many years. And I just actually used these on a peg shelf uh, like a shaker peg shelf that I just made and they're very effective they can handle you know things that aren't extremely heavy um, but they definitely do the job so what you do for this is you put it on the back of your picture frame take one of the nails that come in the kit they're a little hard to hold because they are pretty tiny one thing you can do because the head is not really heavy is just kind of get it started with your finger and then just hammer it in and then we'll go to the wall and to mount it, all you're going to want to do is find the center of the salt hooth. Now, if you actually have a picture frame that has two of these, and you want to measure in between them to be right where one of these points are. And you put two nails that are leveled with each other. But in this case, we've got the one. I'm going to go in the center one. And you just get it to where the nail takes a hold of that. And you've got it hanging perfectly. Okay, so that was method number two. So for method number three, we're gonna take the nail out. And we're actually gonna use a screw. And the reason for the screw is because we're starting to advance into the realm of heavier objects. So if you're putting a screw into a wall, be mindful what kind of wall you have. If you're doing it with a drywall screw and a drywall, you may want to use an anchor because drywall itself is not gonna be very strong. There's some really good anchors out there. I prefer these ones that are have a spike tip so you don't have to actually puncture anything and use the drill to actually put it into the wall. It's better to use like a screwdriver just so you don't go too hard, too fast, and then break through the drywall. But then make sure that screw is in there. If you can, get it into a stud, that's perfect. You can use a stud finder to do that as well. But this is for the next one, which is going to be used for picture frame hanging wire. So this is the picture frame wire. It um, comes in spools or rolls. And then for this, you can use two nails or you can use two screws. I prefer screws just because they are easier. And you just use shorter screws. And this is kind of a bit on the small side. Typically, I would use something of this caliber on something bigger. Um, kind of like the frame that I made for that uh, rustic picture frame that I made recently. That is exactly what I did for that project. And for this one, you just put the screws on either end. Take your wire, loop it around one of the screws, and then on itself a little bit. Come over here to this one. Now, don't pull it super tight, but just enough where you have a little bit of give. Wrap around it, cut it off. And loop around itself. All right, so now we go into the wall. All right, and once again, the head of that screw, which is in something nice and stable, will catch the wire and gives you a nice sturdy hang. Now you can kind of see this is protruding. That's completely up to you. If you don't care, that's fine. But you, all you got to do is lower these down, and then you won't see this. But I wanted to make sure you could see it in example, kind of pulling it a little harder so you could see what it's actually doing. So that is my technique number three. But technique number four is by large my favorite way to hang something very heavy. 
and that is the French cleat system. Now, I actually make a lot of my French cleats with wood. In fact, I made a video on how to make a French cleat and kind of how it works already in some of my past videos, but this is something you can buy at the hardware store, and I've used it a lot. In fact, that's what's holding the sign up, and the sign here is probably about 15, 20 pounds. These things do say their maximum is 60 pounds, but they actually make some that can even handle more than that. But these are really simple because they give you everything you need right in the kit. The thing I really like about these things is that they just, like I already mentioned, they give you every single thing you need. And they have the picture here to show you exactly what it's supposed to look like. But you have two pieces here. You got all the screws. This piece here that has a little groove, you're going to take this level, snap it in there. And that gives you the ability to know if this, is, this thing is actually setting level. And the screw holes will be on the bottom. This will get mounted on the wall, and we'll do that here in a second. This piece here goes on your picture frame. Now, once again, this thing is more or less something that would be very heavy. So this is just for example only. And as you see in the picture, you're going to want it mounted pointing downward. And so take the screws that you have given in this kit and screw them into the back. And then now we'll take this over to the wall. All right, so I'm actually going to utilize these screws that they sent with them. These are actually ideal for using them in drywall because of the very, very coarse uh, threads on them. But you can use any screws you want. And I'm going to sink them into this wood just for the example. But essentially, we're going to take the piece and make sure you have it to where the holes are on the bottom. And mount one of them, not being too worried about your angle yet. Now, of course, you want to make sure that this is in the location that you want it to be in before you go any further. Alright, so now with this level in here, you want to just get this to be right where the bubble is in the center. And then put your other screw in. Alright, and lastly, taking your frame, this piece here locks onto that top ledge, just like that. Now the way it sets, it actually kind of sets off the wall a little bit, so you have a little air gap, but it actually adds kind of a decorative touch. Now if you had something real heavy, the weight of it's going to want to pull it to the wall, that's perfectly fine. That is my favorite way to do anything that's extremely heavy. Okay, so as I stated in the video, the French cleat is my most favorite method of mounting anything that's really, really heavy. But the next one that I like to do a lot is, is the picture frame wire. It really just kind of depends on what the project is. You know, pictures, sometimes you want to have them lean a little bit to add a little bit of depth, um, but sometimes you don't. And so just doing a simple nail on the wall and mounting it on the wall is just all you need. And that's what we do a lot in the house too. But those four methods are the most common methods that I use. And those are the methods that you've seen in a lot of the videos. So a lot of those things, you might have seen cards flash in the top of the screen. I'm going to have links to each video down in the description too, of to some of the projects that actually utilize those so you can see them more in depth. But guys, I hope that this little tip video kind of helps you out on different ways to mount different things that might be different weights. And I uh, really hope that it helps you in any projects that you might be doing. But thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time right here in the workshop.